Hello everyone and welcome now to game three and the final game in this series between Xiao Shi Shi and Nicker. This is the Night Elf Mirror Match and we have been pretty, pretty much seeing some really really straight up play, some Demon Hunter action, um, Ancient of War proxy, some of that stuff, but nothing too really crazy or out of the ordinary as I go ahead and fast forward to the two minute mark. We are looking at an Ancient of War being constructed down over here. It looks like it will be fast um, fast creeping with that Ancient of War. This is once again, um, not Secret Valley, uh, Last Refuge 1.3, as we are now training up archers. We are going to be looking at a Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter matchup. I would be surprised if we saw anything else. That's right, um, Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter matchup is really, really common just because if you go Demon Hunter and the other player goes another hero, well, that other hero is going to be much, much further behind. Oh, you see a little bit of uh, ensnare right there. The archer now trying to pull back over here. A very, really interesting play. And this is actually really causing problems for Nicker. Nicker got his archer ensnare. That ensnare archer taking a bit of damage, unable to do any serious creeping. Now, as you can see, back over here, Nicker is trying to be um, just doing the harassment and in his opponent's base. So far, the Demon Hunter of Xiao Shi Shi is up on experience and also has a potion of invulnerability. Really, really nicely done there. And that will be a very strong item moving on into the mid game. Demon Hunter now running away on that foot race, so to speak, as we're looking at where these Wisp and where the entire battle plan is going to be. Demon Hunter now making his way off to the north, trying to take down an archer. Are we going to see a bit of an engagement? Yes, there you go. There is another mana burn by Nicker. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter now pretty much out of mana in this particular situation. And Nicker actually comes out a little bit ahead. Even though he is lower on life, he was able to get more mana burns off and now is going to be able to regenerate hit points a little bit more easily back at home. But I do believe Xiao Shi Shi has the definite advantage. He has a little bit of that hero lead as Nicker was unable to do any creeping away from home and is now forced to root that art or that ancient of war in order to train up more archers. Coming back around, Xiao Shi Shi looks like he's going to be finishing off this goblin merchant creep camp. The level 6 forest troll warlord was already taken out here. As you can see, the Ancient of War now absorbing a bit more damage. However, the Demon Hunter and the Archer fell asleep for just a moment, so that Ancient of War has taken a bit more damage than it should. Demon Hunter sitting almost at level 2. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, you can see that Nicker is actually very far behind. He has no mana, he has half um, hit points, and he is behind in level, more importantly. The experience race is definitely going for Xiao Shi Shi as Xiao Shi Shi gets to level 2. And now with evasion, he will be able to win out these early engagements pretty easily. Now we are looking at the archer engaging here. There is a little bit of a glaive bounce there. And what is happening? A second shadow meld there as the demon hunters are looking to buy dust of appearance. Yes, the red uh, demon hunter. Oh, there it goes. Going to go after this huntress. Now the huntress able to pull back. This archer perhaps is going to regenerate some hit points as the huntress is now returning all the way back home. Tree of Ages is nearly done. Meanwhile, oh, Tree of Ages nearly done on the south side as well, as the Demon Hunter now adds in more Huntresses to his party. We are looking at the Demon Hunter sitting at level 1 now. Meanwhile, back off to the north here, you can see the Demon Hunter sitting at level 2. That level 2 Demon Hunter with evasion, most likely going to be able to do a very good job of just harassing here in just a moment. And th that looks like that is the plan. Xiao Shi Shi coming in with that Demon Hunter, looking to perhaps um, get some mana burns off onto that unit there. You can see, oh, a boulder to Xiao Shi Shi's Demon Hunter and a little bit of a lucky break for Nicker. Nicker now chasing away that Demon Hunter, both of them with Boots of Speed, as the uh, Golems are just going to town on some of these units. All right, there goes one Archer, now getting some damage onto that Ancient of War. There is a Huntress off over there. The Huntress is not going to be doing very much, as the Demon Hunters are still doing a bit of a battle. Demon Hunter of Xiao Shi Shi now trying to get away. Nicker does is sitting at a little bit of a level 1 disadvantage, and if we get to level 3, the Red Demon Hunter will always be able to mana burn down the blue one, just because of the double of um, double effectiveness, 100 mana burned versus 50. As we are now looking at the Naga Sea Witch, 
still just slithering around. It looks like both sides grabbing a Naga see which Anaconda is she in play? No, that Anna oh you know, yeah, Anaconda. Um <laughs> Anaconda, the Naga Sea Witch, as we're looking at um, Ursula Snake Mane. All right. And um, did you guys ever painkiller? Uh, did you ever leave or uh, read some of these hero names? Wrathbringer, the Demon Hunter. So Wrathbringer and Painkiller are going to be dueling once more. Yes, I know they both look like Illidan, but they are in fact not Illidan at all. All right, Xiao Shi Shi does have a little bit of a lead here as the Naga Sea Witch is now going to come back around and oh, this could turn things around. All right, that Demon Hunter now um, going to get in some easy damage there. That Naga Sea Witch does deal a lot. Meanwhile, the Naga Sea Witch down over here hoping to do a little bit more creeping and it does doesn't look like oh nope it is gonna get creep jacked all right the not the demon hunter now coming back around this low one one hit point or level one demon hunter in a little bit of trouble oh the experience stolen by xiao shi shi with a mana burn and that was absolutely huge stealing experience with a mana burn right there giving him a little uh, giving him just enough oh potion of invulnerability now being used and a scroll of town portal being counter used and let's see what's going to happen here as we are getting in more damage. That Demon Hunter now needs to head back home, drink some Moonwell juice, and hope for the best. Meanwhile, we are looking at taking the Tree of Eternity. Second Ancient of Lore coming in. No bears yet, no adept training. So it is going to be difficult to heal up this Demon Hunter short of using the Moonwells. Always a little bit scary using a Moonwell at the start of the day. That means that those Moonwells will continually be dry for quite some time as we are now getting adept training for Xiao Shi Shi. Xiao Shi Shi um, took a little bit of a gamble there, used a potion of invulnerability, and really forced the Scroll of Town portal hand from Nicker. Nicker, however, is now getting a very large-sized army. The problem for Nicker is that he didn't creep out his side of the map. You can see a couple of ensnares there forcing Nicker to engage on this green creep camp here. I'm sure he would rather just be harassing as the Naga Sea, which already at level 2. Nicker as Demon Hunter still sitting at level 1. Meanwhile, Xiao Shi Shi at level 3, and I'm not sure why the True Shot aura was not given to the Naga Sea Witch. Alright, Dryads Huntress is now looking to back off. That Demon Hunter with true shot aura and oh what is going on here is he going to try to pick up a goblin tinker that could be what he was trying to do we are at tree of eternity as the demon hunter now simply just running by here all right let's take a look at this rock golem is going to go ahead and engage once more level two now finally on that demon hunter uh, the Naga Sea Witch will not get to level 3. Um, just too much experience to gather. As we take a look over here, the Demon Hunter does get a little bit of damage and spots Nicker's attempt at a fast or an expansion. All right, natural expansion right there. No ninja expansion out of the way as we're looking at the Dryads starting to poke around here. Forest Troll High Priest does get taken down. Huntresses and Dryads now making their way off to the north. All right, Demon Hunter coming in. Going to go ahead and sell the True Shot, or is he going to pick up any other additional items? Staff of Teleportation for faster movement, which is really, really useful on um, a Demon Hunter. Being able to Staff of Preservation, the Demon Hunter, to send him back home, and then instantly drink up the Moon Wells, and then join back in on the fight with the Staff of Teleportation is perhaps one of the greatest advantages that a Night Elf can abuse. Demon Hunters are already difficult to kill by themselves, and being able to just force um, or being able to heal it back up nearly to full hit points in just a moment's notice is a really big deal. All right, that Demon Hunter should have Staff of Teleportation much, much earlier. Not quite sure why it didn't. As you can see, there goes um, a, some more creep camps here. All right. Demon Hunter seen at level 3. Rejuvenation most likely will be cast from the bear. Oh no, the Demon Hunter actually drinking a Moonwell. I don't agree with that at all. Um, you do not want these Moonwells that barren at this point, especially when you have two Druids of the Claw, one of them at 300 mana. All right, 200 mana each now as we're looking into the next engagement. Ogre Magi gonna fall. Demon Hunter is currently invisible. What is he going to be doing? Let's take a look. Also, Naga Sea Witch picking up a Potion of Greater Healing, a very nice item for that Naga Sea Witch as it gen generally does get focused down relatively quickly. All right, Tome of Intelligence plus two. 
Um, if I had a tome that I could read to make me smarter, I definitely would do it. Not quite sure what the Anna, or what, what the Naga Sea Witch has against reading. As we're looking at, yes, the Demon Hunter of Nicker now clearing out um, an expansion attempt. All right, let's take a look at this. Demon Hunter getting in some easy shots. There they go. Meanwhile, Druid of the Claw at Mastery Training. And we see that the Druids of the Claw are just making their way down. Perhaps they're going to try and go after another high-level creep camp. And this Ogre Lord creep camp is exactly that. There goes a Wisp, though, as the Demon Hunter now going to go after the Ogre Magi. All right, a lot of early damage there. There's a Shockwave. There's a Roar as the Demon Hunter is trying to focus down the Ogre Lord. Ogre Lord gets taken down very easily. Warsong Battle Drums could be picked up by the Naga Sea Witch. She's the only one with room right now. And yes, that does increase... Um, that does increase, I believe, the... Uh, is that the attack? Uh, yeah, I think that's just the attack there. No, that's the command or... Yeah, command... Wait. Yeah, the com uh, command or does give plus 10%, I believe, attack. And on top of that, the roar. And all of a sudden, the archers, instead of dealing 16 damage minimum, are dealing 22 damage minimum, which is very, very high. All right, Druids of the Claw now trying to engage. Mana Burn coming in on the Naga Sea Witch. There is a Staff of Preservation saving one of those units. All right, attempting to take down the Tree of Life. Tree of Life taking a lot of damage. Are we going to see this bear being saved? It does not look like it will be saved. And instead, Shao Shi Shi sacrifices it, but gets the base in the meantime. And a huge, huge Mana Burn right before he teleports away. Brilliantly done there, as the Druid of the Claw is going to have to rejuvenate this uh, Demon Hunter, who is obviously very low on hit points. Demon Hunter sitting at level 3 and regenerating hit points quickly with the help of rejuvenation and also the health stone. But is that gonna be enough? That Demon Hunter needs to figure out the game plan. What is gonna be happening next? I don't think he has a clear plan on how he wants to defeat his opponent. He's just gonna try and run in there. Perhaps um, deal a little bit of damage and getting in an important creep jack. All right, here is that important creep jack I was talking about. But that is sure a lot of dryads with no uh, siege whatsoever. It is very very difficult to take down that many dryads um, since your options are either archers or dryads archers don't deal don't have that many hit points and dryads um, well dryads versus dryads if you are behind in that count already it is extremely difficult to make up in that count so far wisp down over here let's take a look back over here you can see ogre magi still running back off to the north we're looking at ancient of lore still training up more and more bears as the Forest Troll Trappers and the Forest Troll High Priest are getting cleaned up. Level 4 now on the north side, Demon Hunter. Level 3 by Nicker. Nicker is still in a little bit of trouble here, but the Dryads working very, very closely together to try and take down all of these um, all of these units here. If we see a transition into Glaive Throwers, that might actually be enough. The Glaive Throwers do deal splash damage, and splash damage onto a closely knit group of Dryads does add up very, very fast since they are relatively small units and do like to clump up. All right, let's take a look at this as we are looking at the Red Army Shao Shi Shi looking to uh, retreat and perhaps regroup with his army. Level 4, level 4 on both uh, Night Elf heroes. Meanwhile, Nicker sitting at level 3 and level 3 most likely. Where is the other hero? I don't see him. All right, let's see. Is he back over here? No. Is he over here? Yes, he is. Both of them sitting at level 3. And really, Shao Shi Shi is the one that's making the better opportunity of during this time let's take a look at this null over here taken down claws of attack plus six is it going to even be bothered to be given to anna um no it is not going to be bothered at all as you can see that the demon hunter is once again attempting to take down a tree of life it looks like it will get taken down and yes it does get taken down no wisp nearby and the demon hunter gets mana burned right before he teleports back to the rest of his army all right let's take a look down over here the gargantuan sea turtle could get taken down. Demon Hunter is in position. Both sides are both sides look, doing, looking to do a great job here. Nicker is actually catching up quite a bit as we are now looking at the Murloc Huntsman now going down as well. Dryads taking that down. What is 
And the demon hunter looking to do. The demon hunter wants to clear out this, uh, what, red creep camp. Getting a very strong item from the gargantuan sea turtle. And then perhaps that will be the right opportunity to attack depending on what item is left behind. Alright, what item was left behind? It looks like it could have been a talisman of evasion. Um, not necessarily that great. It does effectively give around 15% damage reduction. Um, yes, I know the math on it. If you're like, no, it's more or no, it's less. I'm talking about effective hit points as well. Do the math and you will see that I am correct, even though it does add in a little bit more of random generated goodness. All right, let's take a look back over here. Anna now off to the north, seeing that level four. Demon Hunter seeing that level four. He has pretty much crept every major creep camp, save for one on his side of the map. This red creep camp here, and the red creep camp has already taken, already had its main main creep destroyed. All right, Nagasi, which shows up to the party. What is she gonna purchase with her claws of attack plus six? Nothing. Gonna sell them. I think that was a Claws of Attack plus 9, and he, she decided to sell them, not thinking that they were going to be all that useful. Her damage now 44 to uh, 54, very, very high. And now we're looking at what a possible engagement straight up already. Demon Hunter seen at level 3, almost level 4. I believe the Night Elf Heroes, yes, with Roar, level 4, level... Um, level 4, level 4. So here we go. Here's the engagement. Dryads are in the back. Bears are now trying to engage. Huntresses are in the front. And there goes a scroll of healing by the blue side. But it's not going to save enough of those units. Bears now looking to back off again. Dryads are looking to engage. Alright, there's a second scroll of healing. And there goes one bear. So one bear does end up falling. And Nicker doing a great job. Just constantly, constantly trying to put pressure on this base. Nicker, however, being forced to use a scroll of town portal, realizes that he cannot stick around in this fight. And he does sides to head back home. All right, Demon Hunter low on hit points. Dryads are all ready to go. That is a lot of dryads. And we're now looking at the Demon Hunter Naga Sea Witch Bear combination. Do bears win or do uh, dryads win? That is the question that we are attempting to answer from this replay today. And so far, um, I gotta say that I like Xiao Shi Shi's play a bit more. He has a bit more presence on the map. He kind of knows what's going on, even though he hasn't scouted. On top of that as well, well, on top of that, he is just being much more aggressive than his opponent, constantly being on his opponent's side of the base. And I believe he was more aggressive on the expansion. Yeah, even more expensive on the expansion. What, 7,500 versus... Uh, what, 90, 98, 20? Okay, never mind. I take it back. Shaoxi or Nicker was the one that was faster on the expansion. So perhaps Nicker is going to be able to stabilize first. All right, red and blue. Now just wandering around over here. You're taking a look at the Naga Sea, which seeing at level 4. Dark or Demon Hunter seeing at level 5. And in comes a big fight here. Level 4 on the Demon Hunter of Nicker. And this could be extremely bad news as we now see a potential big fight down over here. All right, Staff of Teleportation quickly comes in. Here we go. Here's the engagement as the Fork Lightnings do go down. All right, more Fork Lightnings coming down as well. A lot of healing as one bear gets thrown out. One bear gets thrown out by those dryads, constantly throwing those spears. Meanwhile, more and more bears are just coming out on the good side for red. And red, well, finally he's lost a bear or two, but still seems to be winning this upper hand. Naga Sea Witch is at level 5. Demon Hunter is at level 5. Both of them very, very powerful heroes at this point in the game as the Demon Hunter of Blue of Nicker needs to retreat drink some moon wells in order to come back in all right let's take a look um there you have it bears now just trying to tear up this army simply too many bears to deal with there is a, there goes a dryad and now nicker realizes wait me waiting in all of those previous engagements was not a good idea as it gave costco no no not what a, it it gave a costly a uh, not gave Costco, um, gave a cost-effective um, unit to just be amassed. 
by not engaging his opponent now we see a lot more bears on the field than we would have normally the drives are now trying to engage the bears it looks like one of the bears will be saved just in time but the second and third bear are not going to be so lucky nick are now trying to get away with the bear and is it going to be able to get away two very low hit point bears and as the bears are trying to be microed away Nicker ends up losing a demon hunter and that is the gg xiao shi shi takes the series thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it